Hey guys, my name is Wagner, and this is my 1987 GT Pro Freestyle Tour T model in Maui Blue. I've had this bike for about a year and a half now, and it took me uh, probably about a year to complete it. Uh, this bike was in really rough shape uh, when I received it. It was originally in its Maui Blue color, and um, I was able to repowder it, uh, collect all the parts. This bike is dated August of 1987 and all the parts that you see on here, I'd say probably 85% of the parts here are original uh, OG parts. And then of course you've got reproduction parts and we'll go through those uh, here now. Uh, first, we've got the GT mallet stem. As you can see, uh, it has been refinished and repowdered. Uh, did a really nice job on this one. Uh, and then if you look down uh, just below that, you've got your uh, 883 front nip on brake. That's also been repowdered. Uh, which came out really nice and it's got the uh, diacomp pads as well. Uh, in addition to that, you've got uh, the fork standers that have been redone. Those are original and uh, those are OG and those are Gen 2 uh, GT fork standers. Um, moving on to the pedals, uh, the hard to get, very sought after SR474s. Um, as you can see, these are done in white. Uh, those are the original reflectors, uh, original pedals, uh, original end caps, and the pads are reproduction. GT43 tooth chain ring, uh, that is original uh, and refinished, uh, as you can see there in white. And uh, attached to that is the original GT power disc uh, with the wings. Moving on to the cranks, the cranks are a three-piece GT crank. Those are reproduction. Those are not original, they're not OG. Um, these right here on a regular retail market run for about $180. Uh, this one does have the titanium spindle bolt, uh, but those can be very expensive if you're looking to do an OG on those. Uh, they can range anywhere from $1,100 to $1,700. Uh, next up, we have the seat, the GT seat, and that is an original GT seat. That is a Viscount seat, 1987. Uh, 2188 I believe. Uh, this particular seat is actually in good shape as you can see the logos are clear and there's very little rash on the seat. Uh, next we have the GT seat post clamp. Uh, that is an original part uh, and refinished and repowdered. Uh, that is the six millimeter bolt. That's the larger size. There's two sizes on that. You've got the large and then the XL. So this is the XL. Uh, these were common on the day glow colors. Um, I decided to put one on this here. Moving on to the GT pegs, as you can see, we've got two pairs of GT pegs. Uh, these are original. Uh, these are not refinished. These are NOS, uh, which is really nice. And I got a really good deal on these and was lucky to find those. Moving on to the wheels, which are probably uh, one of the most expensive parts on this particular bike. These are Yukai 20 by 175. Uh, attached and laced to GT Superlace Gen 1 hubs. Uh, these particular ones were done by C4 Labs and, uh, and laced by C4 Labs. Uh, in addition to that, you can see the condition of the hubs uh, in really good condition, refinished on both the front and the rear. So real happy with the way that these came out. Uh, again, these are tough to find, but uh, was lucky enough to be able to find them. Moving on to the cables and the detangler. These are all Odyssey and these are reproduction. Um, trying to find original cables in good condition can sometimes be very difficult, uh, but I didn't feel the need to go with OG here. Uh, I actually went with reproduction. I think it looks nice. Uh, moving on to the headset. This is an Epoch freestyle headset. Uh, another one of those parts that can be very difficult to find. Uh, this particular one's in good shape. You still have the markings, um, uh, which is nice and uh, all the bearings are original to the headset. Moving on to the top of the bars, we've got the Tech 77 levers. Uh, those are reproduction. I will be switching those out to Tech 7s. I did find a pair of Tech 7s uh, that are actually getting powder coated right now. Uh, you know, having a bike like this that's roughly 85% OG, uh, it's time to step up to the plate, put those Tech 7s on there. Uh, and next to those, you'll have the AME grips. Uh, those are also reproduction. Um, I decided to go with uh, reproduction just because I like the crispiness and the whiteness of the new. Uh, certainly you can buy them and they're not too expensive to get the, uh, the OG um, grips, but I wanted to stay with the uh, AMEs and just keep it clean. 
Next we have the rear 990 brake, which has also been uh, repowdered there. And uh, that is original, that is an OG, and uh, as you can see, fits nicely on this setup. All in all, I love this bike. Uh, this is one of my favorite bikes. Uh, when I was growing up and did freestyle, I didn't have a Maui Blue. I actually had a Dayglo Pink, but always wanted a Maui Blue. And so thankfully I'm in a position now where uh, I can own a Maui Blue. And uh, hopefully you guys like it. And uh, hopefully you guys like this video. And if you do, uh, make sure you give it a thumbs up, give it a like. And certainly if you're not subscribed, uh, subscribe to the channel. It certainly helps out the channel and the algorithm. Uh, and that wraps it up. Bye.